All right, I think it's time. Basil didn't do that great. There's one here. And then there's a baby right here. So I have these left over, which I'll be using. And I know already that they're not, they don't break down. So I'll just use, continue to recycle these for this purpose. That way they can drain. Okay, so we're supposed to get rain tonight and I last week I picked up a couple of these garbage cans over at Home Depot. The local nursery didn't sell them, so we're supposed to get rain tonight. Hoping to catch some rain in here you know me friends when you're on the budget you got to try and do things on the budget the best of your the best that you can so so far I have two of these I'm supposed to get some rain next week too a couple of days worth let's see how many how much water I'm able to get that sand or dirt fell coming in so I wanted to get these done before it gets too late and uh, before their roots start to get crushed I was thinking of, instead of putting these in the ground, I was thinking of, I have some leftover bags, dirt bags. I was thinking of just putting them in bags instead of digging in the dirt this year. So we'll see how that goes. But I just wanted to give them a little head start until I'm ready, but I didn't want their, I didn't want their uh, roots to get tangled. Okay, let's see. See, you're gonna keep going and the little tiny ones that are still have yet to grow I'll probably just keep them in here till they get a little bit bigger and then I have some water bottles 16 ounce water bottles I'll just try and use those try to recycle uh, what I have so this I think this would be the last one this one's a little sad looking hopefully Hopefully uh, it'll perk up. Poor little guy. Okay, so here we have, there's two, two, and two. And this is what I have left for the Marzano. These are the Marzano um, heirloom. I used the heirloom seed I bought from the nursery a couple of months ago. So I'm going to go ahead and take them outside for a little bit. Let them get a little bit of shade and uh, let them get used to the outdoors before I bring them in again. Okay, letting them get a little 
They've been in the safety of the bedroom upstairs, so let them have a little shade. Nice and warm today. Hope these little guys do okay. So we'll leave them here for about an hour while I go check on my potatoes and my other. Okay, so here's my carrots. Just need to separate them, thin them out. I think they might be a little too close maybe. Let's see, I'll just thin out some. Here are the sugar beets. What are the chances that the um, lizards don't attack? Okay, so there we have it. Let's just hope. Those lizards don't come in to agitate my vegetables. Okay, no sign yet of any sprouts that I see. Just give them a little time, I guess. Wait a minute. What the world? Are they coming up? Oh, yeah, it's coming up. See it there, friends? I thought for a minute uh, it got eaten or something, but I don't think it got eaten. I think it's barely coming up. There's another one right here. If you can see it. Anyway, it's just going to let it take its own course. Not going to force it. Here's another little right there. Yep, just takes a little time.